Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make five easy keto desserts in less than one minute. Yes, each dessert can be made. Okay, let me take that back. Each one can be made in about five minutes, but they cook in one minute and you're going to love them. So stick around and I'll tell you exactly what we're making. Okay, we are making five super easy one minute keto desserts. So let's get started. The base of all of these desserts is very similar because they are, they are all stem from my microwave um, mug cake. And then there's variations, mm, butter, variations um, to make them different things. So for all of the cakes we're doing, or not cakes, let me just tell you, we're gonna do a chocolate cake, a chocolate brownie, a chocolate chip cookie, a peanut butter cake, and a cinnamon roll. So all of them start with one tablespoon of butter in these um, eight ounce ramekins. It doesn't have to be softened butter, mine is just soft. So now we are going to melt all of these in the microwave. Okay, now I'm just going to roll the butter around in each of the ramekins just so the sides are coated. And each one will get three tablespoons of almond flour if you wanted to use coconut flour, you would just use one tablespoon of coconut flour. Okay, now each one of these needs two tablespoons of sweetener. So I'm using granulated Lakanto sweetener like I always do. Each one of these uses a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And one of these is going to get cocoa powder, a tablespoon of cocoa powder. That's for our chocolate one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. So let's just kind of just stir just a little bit, just to get those dry ingredients stirred up a little bit. Okay, so now each one of these is going to get an egg. Well, I take that back. One of these is only gonna get an egg white. So I'll just make it this one because that's going to be our chocolate chip cookie one. I found that if you do the whole egg, then it's really eggy. We also need to, almost forgot, we also need to put the cocoa powder for our brownie one. So we'll make this our brownie one. Okay, so this is our chocolate chip one. So I'm going to add some chocolate chips. about a tablespoon. And this one is our brownie one, so I'm gonna add some walnuts, about a tablespoon, and some chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. And all of these get a little splash of vanilla. And one of these needs cinnamon. We'll make this one our cinnamon one, cinnamon, and it gets a little bit, just a little bit of cinnamon, not quite a quarter of a teaspoon. And this is our peanut butter one, and it's going to get a tablespoon of peanut butter. Okay. So now we've got our chocolate, our chocolate chip cookie, our brownie, cinnamon roll, and peanut butter. So now we're just gonna mix these all up. Okay, after each one is mixed up, I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for one minute. Okay, here we have it. Here's our chocolate chip cookie. I put a little extra chocolate chips on it just to be yummy. Here's our brownie, and I put some extra walnuts on top. Here's our peanut butter, and I put an extra peanut butter on top. Here's our cinnamon roll. And I've got the glaze for the cinnamon roll, which is just a tablespoon 
of powdered sweetener, powdered keto Lakanto sweetener, and some water. Just a tiny, tiny bit of water, just enough to make it a glaze. Because if you do too much, it's not gonna work. And then we've got our chocolate cake. Let's see, which one do I wanna try? The brownie, of course. And I'll just use this delicious spoon. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are so moist. Mm. They're so good. They're so good, you're gonna wanna make one every day after dinner. They're the perfect little dessert. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out my keto chocolate chip cookie video right here or go to my website, jenniferbands.com and search for it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.